Hey everyone, it's Backyard Farmer Pat. A question came up the other day. What the heck are these worm castings? So today I'm gonna to tell you what the worm castings are and then I'm gonna show you how to use it in your garden to maximize the, your produce. Also, we're gonna talk about some of the common pests like white flies and aphids and how to attack those. All right, so come with me. So let me tell you about worm castings. I have here a bag of worm castings from Tree Amigos in Davie. So what worm castings are, they're actually worm poop, right? And this is really good for the soil. Worm castings not only provides nutrition for the soil, it builds up the roots, it, it increases um, the production of the plant. If it's, some, if it's like a flowering plant or a plant that gives fruit, it increases that flowering and fruit production and it helps the fruit to set. So in this case, in this bed, this was actually the, the back bed of greens that I planted on Saturday. So this was actually planted six days ago. Um, as you can see, I planted my Chinese cabbage seeds here and you can see all the Chinese cabbage already coming up. This is exactly six days of growth. Here I had my Swiss chard and you can see my Swiss chard coming up. But the baby bok chow, look at this baby bok chow. This is six days of growth and you see a ton of baby bok chow coming up. On this side, I have my mustard greens and those are also phenomenal how they're coming up. But I'm gonna give it an extra boost. The, the, as you know, the back up saw that I use here was the Kellogg's potting and um, raised bed mix. But I'm gonna add some worm castings or worm poop and you're going to be saying oh my gosh that is so gross but it's really not gross this is what it looks like it just looks like soil i'm smelling it it doesn't smell like poop so it's nothing like cow manure i mean i would never put my hand in cow manure this is worm poop so it's very easy to spread you just literally sprinkle it around the bed actually ideally you should sprinkle your worm castings ahead of planting your seeds, but I didn't have it at the time, or I didn't remember to, to, to sprinkle it, so now I'm sprinkling it. As you know, I use a Kellogg's um, um, garden soil, so that in itself is very rich. It has a lot of manure, but the worm castings is extremely potent, and the great thing is you can't overdo it. You, you, can't, you, you don't have to worry about burning your plants like you would if you use a, a regular fertilizer. So that's it for the bed. With worm castings, it's a little bit more, it's definitely a little bit more expensive than buying like a bag of cow manure. You can get the big bag of cow manure for like maybe six or seven bucks, whereas this bag is nine dollars. But the thing about it, whereas cow manure you use it a lot heavily, worm castings you can use very lightly. So this one bag is really gonna last my whole garden. So let's see what else I planted on Saturday. I'm gonna put some on my peppers that I cut back. My peppers were taken over by white flies and I'm gonna show you how to do the, um, how, to, how to tackle these white flies. Everything else that I planted looks pretty good, but look here. I actually planted some extra buck chow seeds here in the top layer of my three layer tier. I actually got this from, from Alice if you guys are wondering where I got this. But this was planted also six days ago, same day as the rest, and you can see it's already full. Here I have my red Russian kale. Those are also coming up. So I'm gonna give them a dash of the, of this. And oh my gosh, my basil. You guys have to got to come see my basil. Come, come around here to see my basil. Wow. Check out my basil. That is six days of growth. So everything is looking really great. So let's talk about let's talk about pest control because that is a big issue. So with a lot of my plants, and you're gonna find with a lot of your greens, these white flies love greens, right? So whether it's your vegetables, whether it's your papayas, whether it's your sweet potatoes these white flies are a constant battle. And all of us here in South Florida who grow food, we know about these white flies. 
So earlier I saw white flies on my sweet potatoes. So because I'm organic, they're only time, the only thing method I use to get rid of white flies and aphids, the only method I use is neem oil or removing the infected um, leaves. So let's look and see what white flies look like. So you can always tell a plant has white flies. You don't see the flies here. You can tell two ways. You can hit the plant. You can hit, whoops, that one doesn't have any. You can hit the plant and you see these tiny little white flies flying around. Those, those white flies suck the life out of the plant. You can also tell, uh, this is the best way, by flipping over the leaves. When you flip the leaves, you'll see these tiny little white things, right? Or you see some black dots. If you see the black dots, those are usually the eggs or the, or the poop. Sometimes it's eggs, sometimes it's poop. But these are actual white flies, right? So whenever you see this, if it's heavily infested, I just remove the leaves and let it start over. If it's lightly infested, like this is pretty lightly, you, you, you spray the underside of the leaves. You can get neem oil online. Oh, look at this one. This one has a lot of white flies. The white flies literally sucks the life of the plant and it eventually died. That, that was the demise of my pepper trees. My peppers gave me a ton of peppers. Then I noticed the leaves started drooping and then they started looking unhealthy. Then they started dropping and sure enough, there's white flies. So as you know, I drastically cut them back, but they are coming back. So here um, I have several white um, neem oils that I bought. These are 100% oil, neem oil. Of course, they are 100% organic because I only use organic. And these are full potency. You don't use a full potency neem oil. You'll take like two tablespoons of the neem oil extract and add it to one gallon of water. So I, I bought, I have several of these that I use. I add one gallon water to two tablespoons and I use the neem oil here. Here is also, you can also buy it pre-mixed. So for today's um, episode, I'm gonna show you how to use a pre-mixed one. This one is already mixed, it's not the extract. It's not the 100% extract like this. It's a pre-mixed one. That, and always read the back to find out if this says ready to use. So you're only gonna spray it directly if it says ready to use. These other ones say concentrate, so you know you have to mix it with the water. So neem, neem oil is great. You can say it's an insecticide, a fungicide, and a miticide. It kills aphids, white flies, other insects, black spots, rust, and powdery mildew, and spider mites, and, and much more. So it's, it's a really great product to have as an organic gardener. So let me show you how to apply, apply neem oil. Because white flies, first of all, for neem oil, as, as with any of these things, never apply it when the sun is, uh, is very hot or in the middle of the day. It's best to apply it late in the evening. Otherwise, when you spray the leaves and then it's really hot, that can actually burn and damage a plant. Also, you spray on the underside of the plant because the underside is where the white flies are. So I literally spray up. Woo, look at that one. Something, when it's this bad, I just remove the leaf and, and throw it in the garbage. I don't leave it in the garden because it will, they will just fly right back. I remove that leaf. But literally, you spray the underside of the leaves. Um, it says use every two weeks, but when it's, you know, you can use it once a week or every few days until you no longer see white flies. So I'm spraying the underside of these leaves. Spray them well. I'm doing it now because the day is almost done and it's a bit overcast. So I don't have to worry about these leaves um, getting burnt up. In another couple days, I'm gonna come back and spray this again. So don't just spray like this. Don't just spray the top side because the white flies live on the underside. So I always spray up. I always spray up. And I'll come back and spray over this again. After two or three days, you will no longer see any white flies. Don't stop until the white flies are gone. Otherwise, now that I'm planting my beautiful vegetables over here, these nasty white flies are gonna transfer right over to my beautiful bok chow and my Chinese cabbage and I'm gonna be really bad. So I'm spraying these now 
to, to control them before they, they go over here. Same thing for aphids. Um, you may notice on your, your fruit and trees, your flowering trees, that you see these little tiny little black bugs. Sometimes they're orange, sometimes they're brown. So these little tiny things, and you notice your trees are looking healthy. Those are aphids. You wanna, first, if it's a very bad infestation, what I do is I turn my hose on on the jet, jet stream, and I wash off as many as I can, and then I go through and I spray like every two or three days with neem oil to control that. So that's all I had for you today. I wanted to show you my progress in my garden, show you how to use the, um, the earthworm castings, and also to show you how I control my my um, the Wi-Fi infestation. But don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you enjoy this video share the video and i'll see you in my next video where i'm gonna show you how to plant um, i'm gonna show you how to plant vegetables in a bed but without a bed without a container without planting it in the ground it's a new trick i learned and i'm gonna share it with you next time till then bye